Stop 1. Introduction. What is minge? The term was coined in 1925 by the Japanese philosopher and esthetician Yanagi Soetsu, who lived from 1889 to 1961. Minge is a contraction of the term minshu koge, or, quote, industrial arts of the people, unquote. In creating the word minge, Yanagi was building upon the work of 19th century English thinkers John Ruskin and William Morris, who abhorred the effects of industrialization on the quality and design of manufactured goods. Like Ruskin and Morris, Yanagi embraced the manual labor of handicraft as essential to the creation of useful items endowed with honesty and vigor. However, whereas the two Englishmen mainly contrasted handiwork with the machine-made products that they felt were changing society for the worse, Yanagi developed the concept of the nameless craftsman, sometimes referred to as the unknown craftsman, not only as a foil to the machine, but to the formally trained artist as well. Through his ideas, Yanagi Suetsu elevated the work of the craftsman to a nearly unassailable level of aesthetic achievement. In Yanagi's ideal world, workers created handicraft without desire for fame or monetary gain, maintaining simple work habits and working cooperatively in small communities. The purity of heart that resulted from such an environment, Yanagi asserted, enabled these artisans to give birth to works of solid craftsmanship and inspired design. Stop 2. Hamada Shoji Hamada Shoji was born in Kanagawa Prefecture outside Tokyo in 1894. Hamada explored a range of art disciplines as a child, but ultimately chose pottery because of its unification of art and function. While enrolled in the ceramics program at the Tokyo Institute of Technology from 1913 to 1916, Hamada befriended Kawai Kanjiro. Both went on to the Kyoto Ceramics Research Institute program where they completed the traditional 10,000 glaze test trials. Thereafter, his travels brought him to major sites of pottery activity throughout Japan and Korea, including the studio of influential British potter Bernard Leach. At 26, he traveled to England with Leach to help him build a Noborigama climbing kiln at St. Ives, the first of its kind in the West. Hamada began exhibiting his own work and in 1934 joined Kanjiro and philosopher Dr. Yanagi Suetsu to form the Minge Association of Japan. By this time, Hamada had married and established his own ceramics workshop in Mashiko, Japan. Hamada's contribution to the Minge movement earned him many awards, a position as director of the Japanese Folk Art Museum, and the distinction of living national treasure in 1955. Hamada died in Mashiko in 1978. Stop 3. Hamada Shoji, age 52, age 43, and age 50. Over the course of his long career, Hamada became both the leading craftsman exponent of Yanagi Suetsu's philosophy of the unknown craftsman and, ironically, perhaps the world's most famous potter. Hamada's work was influenced by a wide variety of folk ceramics, including English medieval pottery and Okinawan stonewares. His works were not merely copies of the styles he studied, but were unique products of his own creative energy. Hamada had no desire to become a folk potter, but his great respect for the artisan's craft led him to draw as much as possible from folk traditions. Because he spoke English and traveled widely, Hamada's influence on potters around the world is incalculable, and the village in which he settled, Mashiko, north of Tokyo, has become synonymous with Japanese folk ceramics. A motif synonymous with the artist is his broken sugarcane drawing seen in brushwork as in H52, or in resist as in H43 and H50. According to Hamada himself, he has rendered this motif at least a thousand times. Stop 4. Shimoka Tatsutsu, number 207. 
Shimoka Tatsuzo was born in Tokyo in 1919 and studied pottery at the Tokyo Institute of Technology. Five years after graduating with a degree in industrial ceramics, Shimoka began a three-year apprenticeship in Hamada Shoji's workshop. Shimaoka's experience of working with Hamada helped him to understand the challenges for a studio potter working within a folk pottery context. Whereas a folk potter needs only to carry on the ceramic tradition that has been passed down to them, a studio potter must create their own style, their own identity. Shimaoka came upon the solution to the problem of developing a unique style by looking close to home. His father had been a cord maker. And Shimaoka found that by impressing cords into the soft, unfired surfaces of his ceramics, he could embellish his pots in an infinite number of ways. This technique may, in fact, be the world's oldest form of ceramic decoration. The Neolithic Jomon peoples used impressed cords to decorate their earthenware vessels as early as 10,000 BC. Shimaoka added the innovation of using inlaid white clay slips to make the cord patterns more distinct. Stop 5. Shimoka Tatsuzo, ML23 through ML25. From 1950 to 1953, Shimaoka worked at Tochigi Prefecture Ceramic Research Center where he developed many of his signature rope inlay decoration techniques. He then built his own kiln and established a workshop in Mashiko, Japan. From the 1960s to the 80s, Shimoka traveled around the world and was invited to exhibit in North America, Asia, and Europe. He was awarded many prizes in Japan for distinguished work and contribution to traditional Japanese folk art. And in 1996, Shimoka was designated Living National Treasure of Japan. In 1950, the Japanese government implemented the Law for Protection of Cultural Properties. This law works to support and preserve intangible cultural skills that are of high value within Japanese culture and history. Such intangible cultural properties are defined by the Minister of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology and include dramatic, artistic, musical, or other talents. The ministry recognizes individuals or groups who have achieved high levels of mastery so as to ensure the continuation and survival of their craft. Living National Treasure is the informal term coined by the people as a title for the individual whose skill is a national treasure of Japan. In the set of plates, ML23 through 25, Shimaoka used a crackle glaze with trailing glaze decoration that implies a spontaneous energy of a potter before such distinctions as national living treasure. Shimoka died in Mashiko in December of 2007. Stop 6. Hamada Shinsaku, ML19. Hamada Shinsaku was born in Tokyo, the second son of Hamada Shoji, in 1929. In 1930, he moved with his family to the town of Mashiko, where he currently resides. He and his son Tomu work alongside each other in the original compound established by his father. Shinsaku studied industrial art at Waseda University in Tokyo. Starting in 1970, he began to exhibit all around the world and take over direction of the Hamada compound. In 1978, Shinsaku was named director of the Mashiko Senkokan Museum. Among many other department store exhibitions, in 2006, the Mitsukoshi department store held an exhibition in honor of Hamada's 80th birthday. In ML19, Shinsaku applies his signature motif on the outer edge of the plate with a brush and wax resist after applying the first coat of a khaki-colored glaze. The wax resist prevents the final coat of a red hue to bind to the plate, revealing the motif and creating depth. Stop 7. Seto Wear. SW3. Seto Wear production began in the later Kamakura period at the end of the 13th century in Seto Aichi, which is one of the six ancient kilns of Japan. The origin of Seto Wear is attributed to the potter Kato Shirozemon, Toshiro 
Toshi Do studied ceramic manufacture in southern China for six years and then moved to Seito, where he continued ceramic production. Seito styles were influenced by wares from the southern Song dynasty in China and those of the Koryo dynasty in Korea. Eventually, Seto became common as continental wares. Seto ware became so popular that over time, the term Seto mono became synonymous with all ceramics. Stop 8. Ondeyaki, O-N-1. Ondeyaki is a collection of Japanese folk pottery. Onde Sarayama was founded as a potting community in 1705, and little has changed about the process and aesthetics of ceramic production since. Clay slip decoration, chatter marking, drip and wipe glazing are all decorative techniques that have survived. Currently, 10 of the 14 families inhabiting the area participate in pottery production, and all pieces are still fired in a Noborigama kiln. Onda ceramics fulfill all the necessary requirements of the best utilitarian wares. They are made by well-trained, highly skilled potters working in a traditional mode using local materials and techniques that have been passed down for generations. The works are straightforward and honest and combine solid and restrained shape with a variety of decorative methods executed in a limited palette of colored glazes. The community discourages radical innovation or any other change that would set a particular potter apart from the others. Potters in the village work cooperatively in many of their tasks just as they have for the past 300 years. In this sense, Ondeyaki has remained the closest to the Minge pottery ideal that was started by Yanagi Soetsu nearly 80 years ago. The plate, ON1, is a strong example of the foundation of the community in Korean techniques, as this piece is covered in white slip and demonstrates chattering and hakeme two characteristic decorative techniques for the Onda community. Stop 9. Rosanjin Kiteoji, GA4. Rosanjin lived from 1883 to 1959 and was born in the village of Kamigano, north of Kyoto. A restaurant owner and self-taught artist, Rosanjin was accomplished in calligraphy and had an affinity for antique objects. After the 1923 Tokyo earthquake destroyed his restaurant's entire collection of antique wares, Rosen Jim began to produce ceramic works to replenish his collection, and then he began to exhibit them. Rosen Jin was a dedicated scholar and published research on ancient Japanese ceramics in the 1930s. He lived out his life in Kitekamarukura on a compound with six kilns. Like Kowai Kanjiro, Rosenjin refused to be designated a living national treasure. He was known for his eccentric personality and as an ardent collector of ceramics. He considered his pots to be his mentors throughout his career. Stop 10. Kowai Kanjiro, GA3. Kawai Kanjiro, born in 1890 in Yasugi, Japan, graduated from the Tokyo Institute of Technology in 1914, where he met Hamada Shoji, and together they worked at the Kyoto Research Institute for Ceramics. Later, Kawai and Hamada joined the philosopher Dr. Yanagi Soetsu to form the Minge Association of Japan. In 1920, Kawai moved to Kyoto, where he built his own Noborigama kiln. He exhibited his ceramics all over the world, but refused all official honors, including the designation of living national treasure. He admired simplicity and collected folk craft from all over Asia. Hawaii employed expressionistic techniques such as slip trail decoration, wax resist, and hakame, and like most potters of the Minge movement, never signed his pots. Kawai died in 1966 in Kyoto.